Hello and welcome back. Now we have solved this problem in 3D. Now we want to reduce it to a 1D problem or more likely using a beam element. So we will see how we can use two different cross sections on one beam and then we can solve it. So let's start again with first using ANSYS and we create a line that is 600 and then it's a 600. So we use our units as millimeters and there we are 600 mil. and 600 millimeter so we have line from sketches and then now we have just one line body that we can use sign a cross section so let's create a cross section that is 45 by 45 no that's 90 by 90 and there is another cross section that is circular and its radius is 30 mil. Now, if we have one line body, then we can only apply one cross section to it. And even if we just split it, we still can apply only one cross section. So we have one and two. So we, we get, what we gotta do is we gotta create two different lines and use add frozen. So to the first one, we get we can apply rectangular cross section, and then we're gonna create another sketch, and that would start from here and be horizontal. and it would be 600 mil and I want to create another line from sketch and if I add material it would just be merged into another into the same line with the rectangular cross section so what I want to do is I want to add frozen but then I would have two line bodies and then I can apply the circular cross section to it. So we have one circular and one rectangular cross section. So maybe we can see. No, never mind. So now we are ready to go to the meshing and apply the boundary conditions. And let let's try to view the cross section solve section. Yeah. So here we have and. We don't have a connection between them. So we have two line bodies and we don't have a connection between these two. So let's see how it works out for us. And we want to fix this point and apply the moment on the other one. Oops, that was not very much force. That was the moment. And That is 2000, 1, 2, 3, not 1000. And here we have, let's apply, let's just uh, solve it. And then we can see if it works. And we do have the problem of UZ solver pivot problem. So let's try and fix it. And we want to see remote displacement. Let's first fix this point and we will leave this point as free. So we want to apply as fixed but we want to release the X moment X rotation free. Let's try now and again we have the same problem now let's try and fix this point as well. 
So we apply the remote displacement and then we see that the problem is a solver pivot warning or error has been detected in the UZ degree of freedom of node 8 located in line body. Now let's fix this one and we hit 0 or UZ. UZ. That's not RZ or rotation Z. Yeah. And let's fix it all along and the only thing that is free is its moment. Bump to X. And we still have the problem. Rotation X degree of freedom. But let's look at where this point is. So let's try and fix this one as well. And now we can try. And now we have some results. So we want to find out this. Oops, it's, it's a beam. Yeah, it's not a shaft. So what elements we have here, beam, pipe, link. So we need to put the beam elements here, beam 2, and then we need to see the stresses. Direct stresses, beam 2, stress, and combined. But combined is already there. Stress and bending. Yeah. Now it's a zero stress because we already fixed all of the rotation and all of the displacements. Now this is the recipe to get wrong results. Let's try the same thing in Abacus. But before we move on, we want to try to solve this thing with the pipe elements. Let's, let's try it and but the model is pipe. We haven't given any thickness. So let, let's try using the same thickness things in Abacus. So we want to put a wire and the wire is planar. That should be but we can give it dimensions anyway. That is six hundred and six hundred. And we are done and need to create a material 2000, uh, 1, 2, 3, and 0 0.3. So we create a beam that is beam and profile. They need to be two profiles, but we want to split off later. So let's first create two profiles. That is thickness, no? it's, it's not a ball. One is a circular and the other one is rectangular. So the circular is 30 and rectangular is 45 by oops, 90 by 90. And then we need to create two sections here. One is profile one and the other one is profile two. So we know that profile one was the circular one and profile two was the rectangular one. So let's create the mesh and start the assembly and the boundary conditions. Now we're going to fix this point over here fix all of it and hit ok now we need to create a step and create a load with moment over here and it's x1 
So we want to apply 2003. 2 kilo newton millimeter and we want to apply create shaft 1D it's not 1D anyway but we're gonna use it not to confuse the 2D submit oops beam orientation yeah orientation is very important Yes, and OK. Seems like we had not applied. Wait. Why do we have three sections? Profile 1, and Profile 2, and Profile 4. Delete it, and now you can submit it. So let's see the results and well we get some results. So it's 81 one mises but they don't mean anything. So we're gonna find one two s one two and that is forty seven point one. So what is forty seven point one? Forty seven point two is our A tau A B. That is the stress in this section. And if I just want to hide it, now I want to keep only this section. So the stress at this section is 4, four megapascal. And that doesn't seem very correct. It, it has to be like 13.2. So we have 47.1. But what about the R U R? It's point O one three and we have point O one four three. Yeah, that that is really acceptable. But I think I have applied it the wrong way. I think I have applied the sections wrong way. Um, but seems like I didn't or I did maybe because how can I find so obviously I can find by force reaction so I don't have a force reaction I would have a moment reaction so this point is fixed and this point is loaded and I want to find out the same thing for as one so which of these my points is fixed and which one is loaded the one in negative z is fixed, uh, sorry, negative x is fixed, and one in positive x is loaded. So let's see which one do we have in the positive x. So in the positive x we have what was loaded and what was fixed in the negative x. So we have it pretty much correct. but the results don't make sense for the other part. So now we have Kraska is 94. That make that that's correct. That makes sense. Like S11, it is nothing. So S12 is 47. That is correct. And in the other section we have nothing. We have we don't have any stress or we have very small stress. And that does not make sense. So we have four, whereas it should be more than that. So let's try and use it with a different mesh. Maybe that would help. So we want to apply 10 and then hit OK and yes. I want to submit it and again we can see that we have the same results so the stress is 47.1 47.2 or 47.16 is the results and 
UR is 0.013. But again, we have zero stress or very stre low stress at this region. So could it be because we just fixed all of its rotation as well? Now you can try the same problem yourself and let me know how it goes for you. Thank you very much. Have a great day and happy learning.